as we peek past this mic, we can see Mallory in her natural habitat, exploring different Oops. areas, having trouble with with the menus. Um, we played Minecraft. I talked about that yesterday. This is the creakiest chair. Um, I talked about that yesterday, that we were going to play Minecraft, but we did. So that's what I'm going to speak about. Um, first off, hi! Welcome to Saturday. Uh, just finished up for the evening playing, um, well, Minecraft, but specifically, we, uh, we had a, uh, we had ten people? I think ten people total. Um, and we started to do a survival series, but goal-based survival, and the goal that we are, are aiming to complete is we have to have a saddle for each player. So currently it's 10. If people join, if like we have extra people like next week, then you know it could go higher, but um, it's probably going to be like 10. So we're trying to get 10 saddles. If you're not familiar with Minecraft, uh, you cannot create a saddle in Minecraft. If you want a saddle, you have to find it. And there's a few various places you can find it. We found out that those places have changed over the years because um, one of the places you used to be able to find a saddle was a mine shaft, which, you know, mine shafts aren't like super, super common, but they're semi common. If you dig down around long enough, eventually someone's going to be like, I see a mine shaft. And uh, we did, you know, in this recording tonight, you know, we found a, mount, a mine shaft, but we didn't bother exploring it too much because. There's no saddles there. So um, I don't want to like spoil the series, right? I don't want to tell you what we did and did not find. But I will tell you, we didn't find many saddles. Um, but it's going to be a multi-part series. And we knew that. We knew it was going to take multiple episodes in order to find all these saddles. We spent a majority of this first episode just kind of... Just kind of digging around and trying to get um, situated. Trying to get you know, materials so people can have armor and weapons and things like that. That's what we spend a lot of the time doing. And um, it's going to get cut way, way down. So we recorded, like, I think two and a half hours of Minecraft. And it's going to get cut down to, my guess, like a 20, 20 to 25 minute episode. So it's probably going to be real, real, you know, short. Um, just to like, boom, you know, here we're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this. And uh, it went pretty well. It was fun, though, because none of us have played Minecraft in a while. And it had, like, there's changes. But a lot of the changes, like, they make sense. Um, you can you can shift-click on stuff and it moves to different places. And, like, it's always done that. But there's a few more things. It's hard to explain. There's a few more things where it didn't do it before and it does it now. Just a lot of, like, little UI things that make sense. There's a recipe book which might date exactly how long we haven't played the game. There's a recipe book now. And actually, that's super convenient, too, because if you want to make something and you know you have the stuff to make it, you just open the recipe book up and, like, click it, and you're done. And that's super helpful, because you don't have to, like, align the stuff up into the grid and make it look how the shape of the thing and then click the thing. No, it should, you have a recipe book, and you just click, and boom, you made a pickaxe, or whatever. So, um, that's really, really convenient. But, uh, it was fun to hang out with everybody and play, and, and it was, it was, uh, it's such a casual game, and it, it's nice to play that sort of thing. Like, GTA Online feels casual, but not in the same sense that Minecraft feels casual. Um, and one of the advantages of Minecraft is that in, in, like, this survival scenario, everyone can kind of do whatever they want. Like, we need saddles, right? And there's some people that are like gung-ho about, I'm going to try and find these saddles. But other people are like, you know, we're going to need food, so I'm going to work on food. And that's what they want to do, so that's what they do. Some people, you know, they want to just mine stuff, because we do need materials, so they're just like, I'm going to go, you know, mine stuff. And um, that freedom is, well, freeing. Uh, it's really nice to be able to play a game again where it's just like, do whatever. Because we had a bit of that in Don't Starve. And this series that we're doing now with Minecraft feels close, most closely to Don't Starve. But the problem is in Don't Starve, we, we're not super familiar with the game. And there's always this, this terrible feeling like you're going to die. Which, I mean, it's in the title, right? Like, Don't Starve. Um, but in Minecraft, we're familiar enough with the game. And it's easy enough that you're not, you're not going to die. 
Um, you can still die, there can be accidents, you can run into enemies, fall in the lava, whatever, but um, like I don't think I had any deaths, and a lot of it had to do with the fact that I just felt comfortable with the game, um, whereas in Don't Starve, we're just all running around starving all the time, and there's a sense of urgency that is not here. Um, you know, the urgency that's in Don't Starve is not present in Minecraft because it's like, oh, we'll uh, go down in the mine and see if we can find anything. Oh, we found some things. That's cool. Relax. And it'll, you know, it'll get cut up and it'll be interesting, but um, from, from a player perspective, it was really nice, basically, is what I'm saying. And I'm actually, I'm kind of glad that we're doing this. We're doing survival, trying to get, like, saddles instead of doing a Complete the Monument. Um map because I think that having that open-endedness where people can work on what they want to work on is more freeing for some people. You know, some people in our group would love to do complete the monument and be like, yeah, let's get in there, fight the monsters, get the, get the wool. But some other people are, you know, that's not really what they want to do. Um, and doing something like this gives them the freedom to work on what they want to work on. So it was really nice. And some of you are saying, well, when's it come out? I don't know. It's gonna take it's gonna take a while to finish this because it's I want to make it a complete thought right I don't want to start the series and be like oh we're not doing it um, so this was the first part but we have to ultimately get ten saddles so it's gonna take a while and uh, the way I like to approach this sort of thing is where we have it all done and then we start releasing it but I mean we'll see I mean if, if Dan might um, you know if Dan starts working on it we get it out then we'll get it out but um, I wouldn't expect to see it for a while. But it was fun to play, and it sounds like we'll tackle this again next week, and with, you know, with any hope, we'll get more saddles than we got tonight, because we did not get many. We had to get our bearings, but we'll pick up the pace for next time and, and try, to make some, uh, try to make some progress. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I know it's a short one, um, but that was the crux of what I did today. And tomorrow, well, not... Tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday is all going to be about E3. Uh, E3. So if you're excited about E3, if you're excited to have my opinions on E3, if you're excited to have someone who will just take the entire E3 experience and like give you the highlights so you don't have to watch the entire conferences, I'm your man. Um, I'm going to be watching through all the conferences and then giving my opinions on the bits and pieces that mean something to me and uh, presenting those vlogs to you over the course of the next three days. So. Uh, fun stuff. Actually, E3 started today, like, uh, EA did a, uh, conference, but I'm, I didn't watch theirs. <laughs> no offense, EA. Sorry, um, I'm only really interested in watching the big three. I considered watching Bethesda's, but it doesn't start until tomorrow night at 9.30, and I'm like, eh, it's kind of late. I don't really want to do that, so I'm probably just going to watch Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, but if I get time and I feel up to it tomorrow, I might also do a, uh, review of Bethesda's conference as well. We'll see. You'll find out tomorrow. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?